Welcome back to Harrods and have we got a video for you. So we're going to start off by showing you the decorations they put on the outside of Harrods which literally was switched on the night before we filmed. We're also going to show you the shop windows as well which are fantastic and they're all Christian Dior related. Plus we're also going to show you the food for Christmas in the food hall. So have a guess who might have been the sponsor for the Christmas lights and Christmas windows this year at Harrods. Uh, yeah. So if you can get a chance to physically get here to Harrods to see these lights, then please do, but do it by the 3rd of January, because that's when they switch it off. If not, don't worry, we've got you covered, but it's a great opportunity if you can get down to London to see these in person. So the lights on the building we've shown you so far are on the Brompton Road. That's the main road that Harrods is on. This is Hands Crescent and this is the main entrance into Harrods from there. And as you can see, it looks very decorative, loving the pine cones on top. So we've covered the Christmas department at Harrods, which opened on Bank Holiday Monday in August already in a previous video. I'm going to put a link to that at the end of the video, so don't worry if you haven't seen it already. But if you have, this is an addition to it. Now these lights were all switched on by Emma Raducanu. And if you're thinking you recognize that name, she's the Brit that won the US Open Tennis Championships. Not this year, but the previous year. The lights were switched on on Thursday the 10th of November and a big party hosted by, yes you can guess, themselves, Christian Dior, was held afterwards. Now there's lots of different styles to all of the window decorations and every single window is different and don't worry we filmed each single one including this lot which are full of pancakes. So we're moving on from pancake themes to a balloon theme and with the balloon theme here what's actually on the end of the thread of each of the balloons is nail varnish. There's a sort of gingerbread theme to all of the Christmas decoration windows that you'll see here and it gets even more evident as we go around. Now these are all down hands crescent so we haven't hit the main street yet. Also apologies when we do hit the main street you've got people walking past. Boy oh boy is that street busy at the front of Harrods. Now you can really see what I mean about the gingerbread theme across the windows. From a fun and styled window sort of perspective, actually this has got everything, this is really great. So if you do get a chance to get down here, you'll take a while to walk around like I did, just sort of staring at the windows. Harrods and Dior have been linked for quite a few years and there's a number of different themes that they've done before. This year, the whole thing is called the Fabulous World of Dior. I'm also loving that all the windows are named and in some of them you've actually got some things that are animated. Now in this one, watch the polar bear, okay? That's the one at the end who's standing on the floor. Or is he? Now of course, if you're going to take out 44 windows of Harrods, yeah, that's most of them, uh, then you may as well do a bit of advertising for your own products. Now in this one you can see all the plates have got a sort of a gingerbread coloured theme so you can't actually tell if they're real plates or sort of a gingerbread sort of take. But when you go to the next window then you've got a collection of beautiful plates in the middle here. So these are all the windows down Hands Crescent. We now move on to the windows down Brompton Road which we'll take in order. And um, handbags and fashion accessories seem to be the call of the day here. And these are sort of gingerbread ones going up and down a tube whilst underneath, yes, you've got different types of handbags. And by the way, if you love handbags, these windows are an absolute treat for you. Now what was really interesting is the number of people like these people that just literally walked straight past and others that stopped actually noticed what was going on in the window to stop, take photos and video as well. There weren't many of them. Now some of the stores and some of the different shops have got some amazing window displays. So we've stopped and filmed loads already and that video will be coming out later this month so you can get a taste for the different stores and what they've done for their shop frontage. Now we go from here, which is sort of gingerbread theme with something is coming through on a tray, to stacks of chairs. Don't ask me why, I've no idea, but they put plenty of shoes on there. So if you like your shoes, then this is definitely the window for you to aim straight at.
As you can tell from the numbers of pairs of shoes on the chairs, there's probably something for everyone, so you'll be able to find something you like there. Now, the name of the next window, and some of the others as well, is named after one of their most famous stores on the streets of Paris. But more importantly, in this window, look at all the things that are hanging, and they're moving all over the place. It's brilliant because everything has been done with this sort of gingerbread theme, including the buildings. I think it's so great. I wonder what they actually made those railings out of. So beforehand, you had the front door of the, one of their most famous shops in Paris. Here, you've got the whole building and just look at everything turning round. And loving all the different colours as well. It's interesting, with some of these window displays, you've just got to sort of stand there and take them in because there's so many different things that are going on. And here we're able to give you a close-up of what's going through on the conveyor belt. Here we go to another Christian Dior outlet, and if you look, you can see all the silhouettes in the windows with Christmas actually doing the making of the garments. And there down below, you've got a gingerbread man with the doors opening and closing. And loving the fake snow, stroke, sugar that they've put on here. Okay, from the famous stores of fashion back to the fashion of Christian Dior, and the next couple of windows have got some outfits. Now, the great news is not only they got outfits, then we go back to the handbags. And if you stand here for a few minutes, not only have you got handbags going around, you've got other fashion accessories by Christian Dior going around on the conveyor belt as well. Now, like most people, I've got a funny feeling the next window will catch you unaware. Yeah, it's actually a proper part of the shop where they're selling Christian Dior bags, fashion, etc. And I actually double took for a second and thought, hang on a second, are they actually in the window? Uh, yes, they are, but it's open. So with handbags galore, we're almost at the end of the window display, but don't go anywhere because we're going to go into the food hall and show you the Christmas food that you can get down in the food hall and sort of the Christmas gifts and also advent calendars. Now, which is your favourite window? Do let us know in the comments down below. Everyone always has a favourite. Go on, let us know. Okay, so we're into Harrods Food Hall, and this has been requested by quite a few different people to come and see the Christmas things that they've got. So we're gonna start with the different advent calendars that they have, and then we're gonna show you some of the tins and some of the bits and pieces that you can get, which are specifically Christmas. Now, a lot of Harrods Food Hall hasn't actually changed. So you've still got the same things that you can get normally. And we've got a great video on that previously, and I'm gonna put a link to that up in the top right-hand corner. So once you've seen this, then you can pop into that and go and see the other things they've got at Harrods its food hall. Also, one of the other things that came out loud and clear is people want to know how much things cost just to get an idea of things. And how about that? A coffee capsule advent calendar. I suppose you could have the right coffee machine for it. And at £60 for a fruit and nut advent calendar, it's got to be pretty good, I would guess. Now, if you're anything like me and you've got a sweet tooth and you love your chocolates, don't go anywhere. We're going to go into the chocolate department and have we got some things to show you in there. I love the idea of this. You can either get a small Christmas cake or you can get four small ones. How about that? And before you ask, I'm not quite sure what the topping was on that bottom right hand one. They say you can get anything you want from Harrods. It's just one of those types of stores. So if you want your fruit and nut mix and actually you want to put some gold dusting on it, there you go. You've got it here. Really hope you're enjoying the video, and if so, do us a favour, would you? Just give us a thumbs up. 
Now, here's the ideal gift for someone who you want to see picking at their teeth for the rest of Christmas whilst they're trying to get the brittle and honeycomb out. Alternatively, a quick trip to the dentist in the new year. See, you really can get everything. How about your after dinner coffee? Now, if you haven't sorted out your Christmas puddings, how about this, a trio of Christmas puddings? So you get different flavors and different tastes in each individual one, and you've got the butter to go with it as well. Although I hadn't heard of amaretto butter until I went to Harrods. The good news is they've also got brandy butter, and we'll show you that in just a second. And if you really want to push the boat out, how about these six classic mince pies for a 10 pounds? I wonder how they come out in the taste tests against other supermarkets around the world. Now, if you want to get hold of some of these foodstuffs, then your best bet is to go to harrods.com and see what they've got online. That's probably your best bet if you want to get it shipped to you and you can't get to Harrods itself. But a word of warning, not everything will be able to go to different countries. I know from some people that have been watching from the States that you can't order meat stuffs and dairy stuffs and cheeses and various other bits and pieces like that. So just be aware of it. But anyway, go to harrods.com and have a look and see what they've got. The three sweet preserves in here are spiced plum and berry jam, brandy sauce, and Christmas marmalade. If you fancy those, that is. Now, I'm not sure, like lemon curd, stem ginger curd doesn't do it for me. Did it do it for you? Let us know in the comments down below. <laughs> Now, if you're not into sweets and into your savouries, then you've got this trio here, which is cranberry with port, Christmas spicy mustard, and Boxing Day chutney. Although the Christmas stuff and the Boxing Day stuff can be used on different days, and it's not there for advertising standards purposes. Then the great thing is, if you like any of the sweet and savoury stuff, you can get bigger jars of it, so you can really festive out on them. Now, if you like your hot beverages, you've got hot chocolate. Don't worry, there's even more hot chocolate where they've got three in just a second. Or alternatively, you can have Christmas spiced black tea. It's amazing what they wrap up, especially for Christmas. And how about these three? You've got classic hot chocolate, you've also got praline, and you've also got salted caramel. Now, earlier we showed you the trio of Christmas puddings, but this whole wall has got Christmas puddings, brandy butter, etc. And you've got everything from this decadent Christmas pud. When I first looked at it, I thought it was a duck Christmas pudding because of what they've got on the side of it. Then you've got their classic Christmas pudding, which is this one here in red. And then the great news is if you're vegan, then you can grab their Christmas pudding, which is the one in the green. So, so far we've seen jams, pickles, advent calendars, Christmas puds, but what we haven't looked at is biscuits for Christmas, and here they are. So if you fancy gingerbread men, then you can buy tins of them. And you're probably going to fancy it after looking at the window displays that we've shown you already. Also earlier we showed you some mini Christmas cakes. Well, if you want a bigger one, then Harrods do it for you in the tin, and that's what it looks like. So let's give you a view around before we go to the chocolate department of the Harrods Food Hall, which has got the Christmas bits in it. And it's in the same area where you've got the tea and coffee area, and also it's got the coffee station, which is also fantastic and well worth going. If you've got a bit of time and you fancy sitting and watching the world go by, there's a beautiful cafe that's in this part of the food hall. Okay, got a sweet tooth, love chocolate, follow me. You wanna come in here, let's go into the chocolate hall. Now the chocolate hall is always well worth a visit just to see what they've got, but they've put some extra things in here for Christmas. And how about this? This is the top of Harrods, and believe it or not, this model has been made and you can buy it if you want to. Have a guess at the price. Are you ready? Because we're gonna show you it in just a couple of seconds. And it is, yep, 5,000 pounds. I kid you not, 5,000 pounds if you fancy this. Now, how you get it home and how it's delivered unbroken, Lord alone knows, I'll leave that to you to sort out. But anyway, looks very nice, doesn't it? Now, these must be some fruit and nut selection for £45 for this box. Um, yeah, I might go for the budget version. Now, in the category of, ah, oh, it's too lovely to eat almost, how about this? Henry the Harrods Bear. Yeah, 25 pounds, but pure chocolate delight. And these went down well, I got the sum from the family. 
Right, want to see Harrods in chocolate? This is it. This has been handcrafted, which is absolutely incredible, by this chocolate company I hadn't heard of before. But this is the whole front of Harrods. Absolutely incredible. Oh, and it's not for sale, so you haven't got to worry about transportation. It's purely there for show. Now, looking at the tempting chocolates that are around with a the Christmas theme, these caught our eyes. You've got some advent calendars, plus you've also got different types of boxes with some of the selection in. The one that certainly caught my eye is this book that opens up like this with the Vinci chocolates in them. Certainly eye-catching like this advent calendar house here as well with a tray for each day. If you're loving everything Christmas this year in London for 2022, you want to click on the playlist I put in the top right hand corner for you so you can see other things that have been happening in London and we'll be adding to that playlist as we go through the festive period. Here we go, a couple of very nice advent calendars with them. Rather delicious chocolate that goes in it, I'm told. So what did you enjoy the most? The outside lights around Harrods? The window displays Christian Dior gingerbread style? The food hall with all of the different foodstuffs that you could get? Or the chocolate hall? Let us know down in the comments down below. It'd be great to see what you thought of them. Now, we also came here earlier this year as soon as the Christmas decorations came out in their bespoke Christmas department. And if you've not seen that video, which you've got to see next if you haven't, it's in the top right hand corner for you. So click on that and I'll see you in there.